guys, it's Katie. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about all the books that I read in 2017 and what my plans are going into 2018. So this year, I want to say this year was a pretty decent reading year. It wasn't as good as a few years ago. A few years ago I read 31 books. Last year I think I maybe read 11 which was not a good year at all. This year I did manage to read a total of 21 books, which is okay. Um, I did make my plan to read 100 books, but I was finishing up college at the beginning of the year, so I didn't have a lot of time to read. And then now I've just, I was just so busy doing other things that I just haven't been reading, and I feel like I've just been in kind of a slump. I've been consuming a lot of audiobooks because I just can't seem to sit down and read and audiobooks are great because I can kind of listen to them while I'm driving to work or while I'm crocheting or just doing other things about the house. Um, but yeah, I've been reading a lot of audiobooks. That's why um, usually I make kind of a little video montage of like all the books I read. Um, I might still do that with just pictures, but I didn't bother pulling the books off my shelves that I did read. Plus, I don't want to ruin the shelves that I just organized a while back because I do want to do a bookshelf tour sometime soon. Um, I might end up reorganizing my bookshelves. I just, I don't know, I can't decide how I want my bookshelves to be. And they're always just a mess because I need another bookshelf, but I don't have room. Yeah. But, anyway. I'm just going to discuss the books that I did read in 2017 with you guys, um, share with you my ratings and thoughts on each book, and then we're going to jump in and talk about 2018. So the first book I read this year was Psycho by Robert Bloch. Bloch? Bloch? I don't know how to say his last name. But um, I read that one in January of last year, and I listened to the audiobook, um, I was watching Bates Motel at the time, and then I ended up watching Psycho the film, and then I just felt like reading the book too during that time because Bates Motel ended, and I like wasn't ready to leave the world yet. Um, but I have to say that I really enjoyed the book. The audiobook is really interesting because the book is told in Norman's point of view, and I don't know, I just thought it was really interesting to see his thoughts on the story because I feel like the film is mostly told in... Um, Marilyn? Is that her name? Marilyn's point of view? I don't know. But, um, I really enjoyed the audiobook. Um, you really got to see a little bit more into the character that you didn't get to see in the film, and I thought that was interesting. Um, I ended up giving that book four stars. The second book I read was in February, and I read Girl on a Train. This one I actually read for a project in one of my writing classes. I had to write a paper on it, so I read it. Um, I ended up giving it four stars. I did kind of, I don't know, I, kind of, I enjoyed it, but, like, the main character was so whiny, and, like, I don't know, I guess that's how it was supposed to be, but, like, she just kind of bummed me out, you know, but I feel like she did the effect that she was supposed to do. Um, it definitely gave me some Gone Girl vibes, but it ended up being a very interesting story near the end. It was kind of like eh, at the beginning and I thought it was going to go one way and then it went a different way. But overall it was okay. The next books in February that I read was The Walking Dead Volume 12. So that's just a graphic novel that I read. Um, I've been trying to get my way through all of those graphic novels, comics, whatever. Um, yeah. And then I read Volume 13, Volume 14, Volume 15, Volume 16, Volume 17. <laughs> So those were like the next like five books I read and that brought us through March because I was just like not having reading like a long book. Mm, I'm dying. I can't talk. Okay, yeah. Um, mm, I just wasn't having the whole reading. Okay, I need to go get water. Whew, anyway, it was so cold in my garage. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. It's so cold in my garage that this water is like half ice. Maybe I can talk now. <laughs> but, um, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, yeah. Um, I felt like I was in such a slump last year that I just didn't feel like reading big novels. So, I was reading a lot of graphic novels to kind of 
get it up there, get my uh, reading goal up there, you know. Um, but in March, I ended up reading Dracula. Again, I listened to this one on audiobook kind of when I was driving to and from college because it was a two hour drive, so audiobooks are my friends. Um, I wanted to read Dracula back in the day when I was reading Twilight and I just couldn't get into it. My brain just could not process it because it was just such like an old timey language, I guess. Um, but listening to the audiobook definitely helped me kind of um, jump into that story a little bit better and I was able to understand it more. Plus, I feel like if I read it now, I'd be able to understand it just because back then I was like 13 trying to read it. Um, but I ended up giving that three stars. I don't know. It just wasn't what I expected. I feel like a lot of these older books are really hyped up and then they just kind of like fail because I'm too hyped to read it and then I'm just like, that's it, you know? I mean, it was good still, but there's a lot of like talking from like the writer guy and it was just, I don't know. So March 24th is when I read my first physical book of the year and that was City of Glass by Cassandra Clare. Um, I'm finally, I was finally read through the third book of The Mortal Instruments. I started reading The Mortal Instruments like in 2013 and I'm just reading Clockwork Angel now. Slowly but surely making my way through. Um, I ended up giving that one four stars. I did like the story a lot better. Um, it still kind of started off a little bit slow. Like, I feel like all the books kind of start off kind of slow. Clockwork Angel is the only one that kind of just dove you right into the action, and I like that. So I'm excited to read the rest of this series this year. The next book I read in April was The Book Thief, and I listened to this on audiobook as well. Um, I've been meaning to read this book for a while. I really kind of want to read it in physical form because I feel like listening to it didn't give me the same effect that I would have gotten if I was like actually immersed and reading the book myself, you know? I just, I don't know. I feel like I would have felt more feels if I was actually reading it. So I might reread it sometime in the future. Plus I saw that the book has like illustrations in it, which might be interesting. Um, but this was very, this was a super sad, touching, amazing novel. Um, I loved it. I ended up giving it four stars just because yeah, I didn't really have time to process it and I did listen to it on audio, but you know, it might change when I listen to the, listen? Yeah, when I listen, when I read the physical book, it might change. The next book I listened to in May was Everything, Everything. I gave this one three stars just because of the ending of the book. Like, you had me, the book was great, I was reading it, I was enjoying it, and then the ending happened and I was like, what? I feel like they needed to meet, like, I feel like she needed to meet a word count, and then she's like, oh, crap, let's end it really quick, like, bye. That, I just, I don't know, I didn't like that ending at all. Uh, coming to May 27th, the next book I read was Carve the Mark by Veronica Roth. Again, I listened to this on audiobook. Um, consumed a lot of audiobooks this year, but, um, honestly, I gave it four stars. But I feel like I went through this book so quickly, like I listened to it in like a day and a half and I don't really remember anything. <laughs> That's my problem with some audiobooks. Sometimes like I don't listen as well and I don't process it. So like I, I remember vaguely parts of this but I definitely think I want to reread this in a physical form at some point because I don't really know what happened and it's the first book in a series so Maybe when the second book comes out, I'll reread the first book. Now we're making our way to July, so all of June I didn't read anything. <sighs> Yay. But in July, I read 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Um, I mainly read this book because I watched the show and I was like, I need to read this book. And it was, um, it was really good. I liked it. But I ended up giving it four stars. Um, I did enjoy it. I thought that the book was a little bit more in depth and it kind of described things a little bit better than the TV show did which you know that's just how things are but I don't know I enjoyed it I know a lot of people have kind of mixed feelings about the book but I thought it was really powerful and it was it was good 
Coming up on July, when I did the book tube -a I ended up reading The Merciless by Daniel Vega. I have a whole book talk on this book. Um, I did give it five stars. I don't know, I, this book was just not what I was expecting. Like, I kind of went in like, oh, this might be cheesy, but it ended up being, like, super crazy. And, I don't know, I really, really enjoyed it, but I like creepy things, so that explains that. But, come August, I finally finished reading On Writing by Stephen King. I was reading that book for, like, two years, and I had, like, 20 pages left, and I'm like, you know what? I'm finishing this book, and I finished that book. So, yay. Again in August, I finished reading Matched by Ali Condi. I started reading this during the book a -thon. Didn't finish it till a month later, but I um, ended up giving this book three stars. It was okay. Like, I liked it enough that I want to read the next books in the series and finish it out just to see what happens. But I feel like not a lot happened in the first book. Like, it just kind of built the world and, like, kind of set things up for the next novel. But... I feel like not a lot happened. <laughs> Come August 10th, I finished up reading Looking for Alaska by John Green. I've been meaning to read this book for a while, and I finally finished it. It was really sad, like most of his books are. Um, but I, it was also funny. Like, he he's so great at just mixing, like, comedy with depression. <laughs> like, it's just, it was, it was, it was a good book. I give it five stars. The next book I hit, I read in September was The Coldest Girl in Cold Town. I ended up listening to this on audiobook because my other job that I had involved a lot of like 4 a.m. drives. Um, so I was listening to audiobooks. Um, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed The Coldest Girl in Cold Town. I give it four stars. Um, it was a very unique story and, you know, it's about vampires. <laughs> but I, I, I really enjoyed it. I was pleasantly surprised. I thought it was going to be cheesy, but it was actually a really unique concept, and I really want to get the physical book and read that. Now come November, I um, skipped a lot of reading, but um, I finished Aristotle and Dante, Discover the Universe, what is the name of this book? Uh, Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin, Benjamin. I don't know how to pronounce his last name, so I'm not even going to try, but um, I listened to this book, I gave it four stars, I really enjoyed it, it was really a good story, it was super sad at some points, but it was also like super heartwarming, I really enjoyed the like culture you saw, and it was kind of interesting to see that point of view, I really enjoyed the audiobook reader because it made it really authentic, and honestly the whole story was just super sad, super, like, I don't know, it was just so good, I loved it so much. Come November, I ended up reading What Light by Jay Asher. This was another audiobook read. I was in the, like, Christmas spirit around that time, so I was like, let's listen to a Christmas book. Um, yeah, I finished that one in November. I gave it three stars. It was an okay book. Um, I don't know. It was just, like, a lighthearted contemporary thing to read. It wasn't like super exciting, super dramatic or anything. Um, a lot of it was predictable. It was kind of crazy that she like fell in love with a dude that she met like over Christmas break. But whatever. Um, it was just a fun little read to read. But that is all the books that I read in 2017. Um, it was a pretty decent year compared to past years. I think um, now we're just going to jump in and I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about what I plan to do for 2018. So I am again aiming to read 100 books. I definitely want to read more this year. If I don't make it to 100, I'm not going to be like super sad. I would like to maybe just go over 31 because 31 is the most I've ever read in a year. And I have so many books that I haven't read that I want to read. Um, so like <laughs> I really need to do that because I have over 400 books and I've only read like 100 of them because I recently counted and did that. Um, and I just keep obtaining more books. Aha! Surprise! I definitely want this year to be a good reading year. Um, also, channel-wise, I just want to really try to upload more consistently on this channel. I know I've kind of been all over the place. Um, I do focus a lot more on my craft channel 
just because that one seems to be getting more views, more, you know, I, I've I kind of built something over there more than I have here. I'm still working on building this channel, and yeah, this is my second channel, but I do want to try to upload at least once or twice a week. I am uploading two to three times a week over on my other craft channel, so it's kind of a lot, but pre-recording will be my friend this year. Um, but I do plan on starting this year because I really do want to build this channel up. I really like the booktube community. I think they are like some of the nicest people on YouTube that I've ever like talked to. Everyone just gets along and there's like not a lot of drama and I just love that about this community and honestly like I just love talking about books. I love reading. So this is more like my passion project kind of thing that I just want to do for myself. Where on my craft channel, I like helping other people, showing people tutorials. I also like crafting, so there's that. But this is more just like, I'm not so worried about numbers and stuff on this channel. I'm just like, let's dive on in and talk about books because it's fun. Also a goal of mine that's kind of reading related, not really, but I also want to write more. Like, I've been working on a novel for a few years now. And I really want this year to be where I focus more on writing because that's what I want to ultimately do is write. So I feel like I want to finish revising my novel this year, at least finish the first revision because I'm just doing like a total rewrite because I didn't like the first um, draft at all. So I'm just rewriting it, kind of reworking some plot points and everything. Um, but I've been doing that and I really need to focus on just writing for like an hour or so every day just to get that done. Also I want to work on more screenplays because that's what I want to do is I want to write scripts so I've been working on an outline for a script for a while and I really should finish that. I also have another idea for a script that I really should write as well. Um, yeah I just really want to focus on that so I can actually start jump starting my career this year because that's what I ultimately want to do, so I might as well do it. <laughs> I think I also want to work on uploading more review videos of books. Like, when I read a book, I want to be able to review it for you guys. I feel like I'm just so behind on the reading game where, like, other people are. So, like, I just feel like everything's already been reviewed, so why bother? And I also have, like, an issue trying to, like, connect my thoughts after I read a book, so... I don't know, I should start taking notes on books and I need to start like reading books that are like coming out and reviewing for you guys. It's just, it's a struggle sometimes. But I think that's kind of all I really want to accomplish in 2018. Kind of sent it, setting like tentative goals, nothing too crazy or anything. But that's about it for this video guys. Um, let me know what you guys plan on reading in 2018 and how your 2017 reading went. I'm looking forward to this year reading wise. I definitely want to accomplish a lot this year um, just work on making myself a little bit happier and enjoying some of my hobbies but anyway yo, and I'll see you guys in my next one expect a lot more from me this year we're gonna do it it's gonna be great bye guys